So what we're trying to do here is bring together as many voices as we can to try and improve the way that Australia understands the risks, particularly from disasters that it faces. We know that over the next decades, Australia will face unprecedented levels of uh, disaster on the landscape. And as a consequence, it's about time that governments and all other sectors did their best to try and address that. It's important that we bring the expertise from around the country to give us the best model to move forward collaboratively between federal and state government. So ADA has partnered with Emergency Management Australia to run these forums in every state and territory. It's important because ADA is able to bring together a whole range of stakeholders across a range of sectors to have the conversation around disaster risk and to develop a shared understanding. In essence, it's about helping people understand that disasters are not predominantly because of a natural hazard. It's very much about the decisions that we make as a society that lead to people being either in the, the wrong place or having the wrong building or an economic activity being undertaken in, in a way that actually makes it vulnerable to disruption from a natural hazard. Just having a conversation with and amongst other sectors helps you identify what you can do and gives you that hopefulness. And that's what today is about as well, I think, giving the people that balance between we recognise we've got some serious challenges, but guess what? Look what we can do if we do it together. The impacts of a changing climate will bring more unexpected events across many of our communities. These events will continue to impact the livelihoods of Australians. The response to the forum was, was really, really good. We had a diverse range of participants that we hear. Everybody had a chance to have a really good discussion. And I think people left with something that they could do differently um, and with enthusiasm to be able to do that. It's more about, not just about yourself, it's about the broader community. So in terms of uh, our stakeholders, I'll be looking to engage our stakeholders um, in this space and to see uh, what we can do, how we can leverage of the, um, the work that already has been done and where we need to step up, where we need to actually start engaging ourselves um, about what we must do as, as, a, as a community. Um, we work in a highly political environment where there's always a great imperative to focus just on the here and the now. But you know, I think this, these forums have been a great reminder about how we do need to push through and really try to take a, a longer term perspective if we want to make a difference to communities. It's given us a narrative for us to bring our conversations into rather than us all having these separate conversations about what we think it should be or what it looks like. And whether you agree or disagree isn't actually the point. The point is we need to talk about this thing. It gives us a focus and we can take that focus forward into something constructive. Going forward, what it does is gives us an opportunity within South Australia to be able to see how we can connect and work with our partners at a national level, at a local level and down with the community. Uh, and more importantly, about how we can actually work together with community and partner with our different key, key agencies and different organisations, both in business, there's um, NGOs as well, and about how we can actually address um, what it is that we've discussed here today about disaster risk reduction going forward. I'm really optimistic about the way that Australia can address what it faces. We've just got to get down, uh, probably get a bit dirty, uh, and do things differently. <laughs>